Oh. Come on, dude. Get one. Oh, he slashed at it. Oh. Oh. Shimi tonight, bro. So Shimi with this guy? Beauty. Oh, yeah. Got him. That's a big boy, dude. Nice. Good snapper. My first ever snapper. Apparently in Costa Rica, they just do like a war paint thing. So you guys at least got to do that. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to Millican Fishing. We obviously uh, we went out, we waxed a bunch of really good fish. We got yellowfin tuna. We got snapper going on tonight? Yeah, we got snapper, omelu, yellowfin tuna, and a few other things. Ridiculous. Like, we got six different preparations on fish. We got my man Aaron over here. Tell, tell, look at all this sexiness we got. What's going on the grill? We're making some crispy tuna. It's gonna get fried up with some onions, and it's gonna get nice and toasty. On and the got, charcoal grill. On the charcoal grill. Oh. And we got some massive plates of sashimi going down. We're going to make some ponzu sauce, make some spicy stuff, make a big plate of carpaccio, cook up our omilu with some garlic and herbs and a little bit of butter, rice, a little bit of salad. It's going to be kick ass. Wish you guys were here, but you're not. But you can be here next time on Costa Rica land. What are you? Oliver came down here a month ago and he's like, Bro, this place is unbelievable. I'm going again. You gotta come. So I was like, all right, sounds good. Look at that. That's a pound, and that's a pound. Epic tuna. Caught by your boys. Where the fat finger in his face? Slap! How in the f- Oh, this is what we're here for, guys. Oh, yes. Garnish. Simple, but yummy. Two massive plates of sashimi. Those would be like a $500 plate anywhere else, but we go and catch it. So come on down and have one of these. Look at that, that's a pound, and that's a pound. Epic tuna, caught by your boys in Costa Rica. There's some ponzu sauce. Come get some, how about that? The trimmings off of the tuna loin, the part we don't use, for our sashimi, a lot of places throw it away. Cook it up different, it's got a little bit different texture. Fry it up crispy, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of onion and garlic. It's gonna be really nice on the rice. And that rhymes, that's how it goes. Nice on the rice. So we got two types of cabbage, peppers, onions, a little bit of tomato, cilantro, a little bit of lime juice, oil, sesame oil, salt, and black pepper. Nice and fresh, local. Go good with everything else we got going on tonight. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. So not only do we have six preparations of fish going down tonight that are like getting ready, so I need to stop talking and go for it and get them. We also have uh, Clay and Ethy and their families here that we're, we're feeding tonight. We're, we're eating all the fish. We have them and their families. They all came down here. And Callie, the freaking taxi driver, our man Callie. You guys probably see him in every freaking video out here. We're, we're all just enjoying this feast. DJ Cali! DJ Cali! And then we, we just got some, some lovely gifts from the boys here. Clay and Evie. Look at this. I, I'm, I'm jacked. I'm wearing this sun shirt tomorrow. I'm, I'm excited. I'm super excited to have this. I'm also super excited because I have like no more clean clothes left for this trip. So I definitely need this guy right here. I mean, it's, it's starting to the point where we're going to start eating some of uh, this amazing looking fish. Hey, hey, Rob. Getting it in back here. Oh, so good. What's next, my man? What? Just trimming up this tuna to sear it. Searing it? That's yep. like my favorite way to eat tuna, dude. Well, you're gonna see. Oh. It's gonna be good. Yes. On the fire. Get it nice and smoky. So I'm gonna do these chunks up and then do like a garlic onion sauce to go on top. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be pretty good. Yeah. I think. Dude. Baller status. Check it out. Check it out. Baller status. You're never gonna wash that, are you? I'm never taking it off. Never. I'm never taking it off. Never. I'm gonna fish in it every day oh. for the next 365 days. So, Mr. Kobe, what, what presentation of uh, tuna are you most excited about? Uh, tuna slash snapper. Uh, we got some seared uh, stuff going down. We got some seared stuff, which I haven't tried yet, which is kind of exciting. Right. We got, we got the sashimi. Sashimi, which is actually we got really rum, good. Rum, which is important. Yes. And uh, beers. I'm not sure if we're making ceviche, but that's one of my favorites. Potentially. We got some, we got some beautiful salads going on. Dude, salads. This guy makes some really good food. Listen, I'm gonna tell you a secret. If you're ever in Costa Rica, you need to hire this guy. Okay, he's a private chef. You need to hire him. He's a great dude and a private chef. And a good fisherman. And a good fisherman. What the hell? Yeah. Like, and yep. he's Canadian. And he's Canadian, somehow. Somehow. Plot twist. Oh. 
I do apologize to you guys for the uh, the poor lighting situation. We're actually hanging out. This is just like a little cabana at our, it's kind of like a resort. This guy, his name's Franz. He's Austrian and he runs this little resort type deal. Really, it's just like right back there, that's his house. And then there's another house. It's just like two rooms um, that Oliver and Joseph have been staying in. And then there's another little area um, that's like two little bungalow things that me and Kobe have been staying in, but it is absolutely freaking perfect. I'm gonna link everything down below if you wanna check that out. Check these guys out, the uh, the guide service, the, the fishermen that we've been fishing with uh, during our trip here. Of course, the amazing Aaron. Aaron's actually, oh, yeah. private chef Aaron here, is actually in the middle of releasing his very own cooking show. Tell me more about your show you got coming. Well, we're launching a new cooking show. It's called Cooking Around, and the first season is gonna be based on Costa Rica. So we're gonna travel around the country, looking up the absolute best dishes in each province and do a special on those, and then different stuff in the area. But it's gonna be a little bit about food, a little bit about culture, a little bit about travel, and a whole lot about fun. So I hope you guys come and check it out. Don't forget to tune into my ATV tour channel coming really soon. <laughs> Aaron's the man, he, he's shown us around, he's, he's hooked us up with everything and figured it out. Speaking of, this is from the Austrian guy that's it's hosting us. What are all these these spices you have here on this this tuna you got searing? Salt bunch. and pepper. <laughs> Never heard of them. Yeah, you don't need to do too much or put too much on it when no, it's fresh caught. You want to taste the fish, and I just taste the sashimi. Sashimi. That's totally true. This is gonna be like the best fish meal of my entire life. I cannot freaking with you at all. We gotta go with the snapper, dude. I see the snapper happening. Snapper's over here. coming out. I'm just trimming it up like the other day. Just getting that bloodline out. Taking it right off the top. And this is gonna go down with the, all that garlic, man. I'm gonna cut it up in like like little steaks and just get it nice and crispy. Oil, salt, and pepper, and garlic. And it's gonna just gonna be in chunks like that. So we get lots of lots of garlic everywhere. Because, you know, if everybody eats garlic at the party, then nobody has weird garlic bread. True. Yeah. And no we got to protect you against vampires, you know? Key. That's really important. Seared tuna. There it goes. I don't know if this is like really a finger food. Dude. Mm. This is unbelievable. Good stuff. So here we got our snapper. We're cooking this down a little bit of a tomato-y. Garlic, cilantro, gonna get some hot pepper in there. Really fresh, bright flavors. Cause it's good fish. And you don't wanna overpower it. And this all works with it. So we got fresh tomato, lots of garlic. Gonna hit that with some more salt and pepper. And right on the best stove in the world, a big barbecue. All right, so this is almost done. What we're gonna do is just hit it with a little bit of lime juice. One of these mandarin limes. Mm. It's just gonna, Bring, bring out all the flavors, brighten everything up. Because cooking's all chemistry and sometimes you gotta mess with the acidity. And uh, this is gonna mess with the acidity a little bit. So here we go. This is how I cook at home. I cook on a barbecue Dude, grill constantly. I would, I, I would, if I could cook like this every day of my life for all my clients in the world ever, it's the best. Barbecue grill. It's man. epic, dude. All right, I have a special request of you, man. I want you, you and Clay. I want you two to sign my shirt. Me too. Right. And put your autograph <laughs> right here <laughs> on my <laughs> shirt. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ethan. Rice and fish. That's it. Pretty straightforward. I like. But to me, it's is nice. So I decided to really diversify my plate. Um, I, I threw some rice in with my fish and fish and oh and fog and also fish. Fish and a little bit of rice and a lot of beer. This is my kind of night. Oh yeah. Flor de caña. Siete años. Celebrating my new birthday. Today is my new birthday. Yeah, definitely. Tom, 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 t
Get the light on, baby. All right. Blind. Oh! <laughs> no. This right here, snapper, absolutely freaking epic. It's kind of been a whirlwind, kind of a blur because I've been trying to like film all of the things that Aaron's been doing. Almost didn't even pay attention to what he actually was doing because I'm behind the camera, but he talked to me about it a little bit and it is amazing. Now, I would strongly recommend cooking um, any type of firm white fish just like this. I think even like walleye, even crappie or bluegill or something like that, something really, really firm, uh, freshwater fish, if that's all you guys have access to, um, I think this would be an excellent recipe to do that with. Dude, seriously, small channel cats would be amazing in this. Small channel cats. I like eating small channel cats. But yeah, this, this food is off the chain. It's so freaking good. Can't stop with a love like mine